Hey folks, so let's take a quick look into the inquiry form settings. Uh, heading over to the back end of our price list, uh, we'll click on edit inquiry form. And uh, here's the form, this is what it looks like. So basically, uh, we can change the text, uh, the title of our form. And we have a simple uh, text editor for us to work with. Uh, add any adjustments to the text if that's required and so forth. And um, uh, so basically, you can change the text colors, uh, the type of fonts you use, and so on. Now, we also have several other options over here in terms of layouts. So let's click here, and there are several options for us to choose from. We have a regular layout whereby we have a form to the left hand side, and then a price list a summary uh, that will appear on the right hand side of our, of our form, and then we also have a vice versa option. Okay, and then we also have the full width form with the price list and our um, price list summary will appear either at the bottom or at the top of our form. Now, regardless of which layout you choose, uh, we also have the option to um, make additional adjustments to the form builder uh, or the actual form structure. So if we click on form builder, here we have uh, the areas that we can customize. We can add additional fields to that. So it can be a text field, a text area, email, uh, radio button, checkbox, uh, etc. Uh, once you've added in a form, uh, let's say we add in a text area, we'll click on edit and we'll need to add our text title here and then select whether or not this is a required field. All right, in the advanced uh, settings, this is more for CSS usage. All right, so sticking with general settings, everything here is pretty uh, simple and self explanatory. All right, so next off, uh, we also have the option to integrate our form with, let's say, uh, Tave. So if you have specific fields like first name, last name, job title, email, etc., you can select which specific fields that these should integrate with um, in Tave. All right. And uh, next off, let's take a quick look into the uh, into the layout mode. So we'll click Enter Layout Mode, and within the following area, we can make adjustments within the actual layout. So what that means is we can drag and drop these fields around as that would be required. As you can see, we can have one field at the top, three fields at the bottom. Uh, we can have simply one field uh, for every single row. Okay, and so uh, yeah, it's it, it's pretty simple here. Just drag these fields around as required. Uh, just pretty much a drag and drop thing. Uh, once you've made all of the adjustments, uh, go ahead and click on Save Changes. Okay, and the contact form uh, will change accordingly. Uh, next off, we have the background settings. Uh, this is very similar to our uh, footer settings. Uh, simply click here and there are several options for us to adjust. We can add a background image, uh, select the uh, background positioning, scale, not scale, uh, top left, etc. Uh, background colors, you can also select a specific color or add a color hex code within the following area and then also change the opacity uh, if that's required. Uh, within the padding area, uh, this is pretty simple. Add additional padding to the top and the bottom of your uh, inquiry form. All right, and um, yeah, at this point, this is pretty much it. You can also change the following title here. But once done, go ahead and uh, click on done, and the settings will be applied. So if we take a quick look at the following price list, I'll just go up and click on save. We will refresh the following page. And you'll see that our contact form has, uh, or our inquiry form has changed accordingly. All right, so this is pretty much it uh, for the inquiry form. As you can see, everything is super easy and simple. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys around later.